Hi, welcome to Airdrop Spot. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I went about my initial test net week 7. Okay, so let's get started. There are only three interactions for this week's test net, and we are going to start by claiming our earnings on Civitia. Now, if you all remember in last week's video, I was saying that this is my first time of playing this kind of game, uh, the game on Civitia. So I doubt that I have something to claim this week. But then let's just check it. I am going to tap on that person icon. Oh, just like I expected, there is nothing for me to claim. I have 0, 0.00 in it. And that is because I didn't actually play the game since I don't know how to. However, it, since the claim button is still active, I am going to tap on it to trigger a transaction on the blockchain. I don't think the value of earning that you are claiming is actually important as long as you are able to trigger a transaction, which I have done. Okay, so I will go back to Initia. The task has been verified. I will move on to the second task, swap on to Canadex. I will be swapping init for USDC, so I am going to enter the amount of init that I want to swap. I will tap on swap and then I will confirm the transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. I'll go back to Initia. Task verified. The last one is to burn an NFT on Init AI. Init AI is an on chain image generator built on Initia. This works exactly like when you are using Meta AI to generate images. So, what we are going to do here is to generate an image and then we are going to burn the generated image. You can make use of any of these templates to generate your own image, depending on what you want your image to look like. I like this uh, bare image, so I'm going to tap on main. But then at the point of making this video, the init AI generator is offline. It is not available. You can see come again in 12 minutes. So I'm going to have to pause my video and then come back like after 12 minutes. So I am back and you can see it is still not available. It says to uh, it will be available in one minute. I then decided to refresh my browser and then see maybe after refreshing my browser, the image generator will now be available to use. But after refreshing my browser, it still says that the image generator will be available in 13 seconds. So I still had to wait it out for the next 13 seconds. In short, when you want to use the image generator, just give it enough time. I think it is rate limiting people so that it will be able to avoid too much traffic and the website crashing or something. So after 13 seconds, the image generator is now available to you. So what do you want to do? You are going to look for a word that is in quotes. That is the prompt that you are going to use to generate your image. I just copied mine and I'm going to paste it in the box for prompt at the bottom of my screen. Be a workout. That is the image that you are to use to generate this particular image. And then I'm going to tap on that arrow at the bottom right. Since this is an on-chain generator, you have to approve the transaction in your wallet. So I'll tap on approve. The image generating process itself took about two minutes. So I paused my video and then I resumed when the image was about to be completely generated. So here we are using the prompt that I copied in the quote at the top of my screen. This is the image that was generated for me. So what are we going to do next? We are going to tap on that image 
you can see uh, all the properties of the image the nft that was generated for you you can see all the properties here so i'm going to swipe to towards the right side of my screen and i am going to tap on burn remember that we are here to create an nft and then burn the nft so i'm going to tap on burn and i'm going to complete the transaction in my wallet i'll tap on approve Transaction has been submitted. I am going back to Initia. I am going to refresh my browser. So the task has been verified and we have completed all tasks for week 7 initial testnet. I am back at the top of my screen. I am going to tap on my claimable XP to claim my accrued XP. So I'll tap on claim and then confirm transaction in my wallet. XP have been claimed successfully. I'll then go ahead to Fit Jenny. I'll tap on Fit Jenny. I have no food available, so I'm going to buy food. I'm going to tap on Buy More Food. I'll be going for Legendary. I'll tap on Legendary. Then I approve the transaction in my wallet. I was very lucky to get filet mignon this week, so I'll tap on go to feed Jenny to feed uh, the food to Jenny. I'll tap on filet mignon. Feed filet mignon, I'll tap on that. Then I approve the transaction in my wallet. Feeding Jenny is successful and Jenny have also leveled up. So remember as you are claiming your XP, you have to spend it on Jenny. Your XP is meant to be spent on Jenny and as Jenny level up, you also level up on the leaderboard. That is all for week 7 testnet interaction. If you are yet to bind an invite code to your initial account, then you need to do it now to get extra 50 XP. I think I explained in week 1 or so. So how do you do that? You tap on earn more XP. I have already done that before in previous videos so you are going to tap on the first box it you are going to see a place to paste an invite code so use the invite code that you can see on the screen here i'll have it pinned in the comment section for your convenience so when you link your account with this referral code you are going to earn 50 xp and when you follow initial on twitter you earn 30 xp and when you join initial on discord you also earn 25 xp if you have any questions about this video then do drop me a comment if you have found value in any of my contents before give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content thank you for watching i'll see you in another tutorial